Hi and thanks for tuning in. I'm Paul and this is a bicycle camper build. Now in front of you is a vintage Pashla Piccolo. For two weeks I was stressed out. I drank more alcohol than I normally drink and yeah I don't normally drink much and I found myself drinking quite a bit. So yeah because of the stress and yeah it's done me head in. So it's not going to actually be an e-trike and what I'm going to do with it is turn it into a bicycle camper. Now the back wheels I struggle getting tyres to fit so all I'm going to do I'm going to take this pink axle off the bottom and I'm going to take it to a local bike shop and get him to do it and leave it to be his problem and they'll be getting cash money for it so he'll be happy won't he so that's what i'm going to do with the tires and the front wheel it hasn't been tested but it won't go backwards now subscribers said about the gears inside it taking it apart having a look at it yeah i'm not doing that i don't want to be doing that so i can't be bothered and i don't even know whether this geared hub for the chain will actually work i don't know how well the bottom bracket is and yeah it's just become a massive fail and like i said just a minute ago it was getting on my nerves and bringing me down so what i'm actually gonna do i'm gonna take the crank arms off now that's really rusty same on the other side and the cog they're coming off the front wheel's staying on and the forks, but only for now. I'm actually going to get a tag along or some hitch to connect from either here or here and go to the back of the trike. Now, there's a few different designs. There's quite a good ball and hitch one, I think they call it. And yeah, that's quite good, but there's a few ideas. There's also tag alongs for children's bikes, what attach there, and then go on your seat post. So there's them. So... What I'm going to do, I'm going to lend a grinder off someone. So I don't know if anyone's got a grinder in their family. I'm going to ask around. I'm going to lend a grinder and I'm going to cut this seat post off. And then I'm going to get an aluminium dog crate that I bought. Now, I bought it for this. It's slightly too big as an e-tricycle, but it's going to work perfectly for a base for a bicycle camper. So, yeah. So, what I'll do, I'll get that aluminium crate now. I'll stick it on my back here and I'll let you have a look at it. That's the aluminium dog crate. And, yeah, as you can see there, underneath, it hangs over a real lot. So, I didn't do my measurements that well, did I? And, yeah, I'm, yeah I've been noticing I'm not very good at getting my measurements right. <laughs> <laughs> I bought two pairs of tyres for these wheels and it was all wrong. <laughs> anyway, so that's a crate. So, I'm thinking, remove that tomorrow or in the next couple of days. And then maybe that I'd push right up there, up to there. And then I've got quite a bit at the end. And I'm five foot ten, I'll have to do some measurements. But at the back here, I've got the aluminium. And that's 25mm by 25mm with a 2mm wall. Right, so I'm five foot ten. And I think that's 70 inches. I'm not sure, I'd have to look. And um, the width of this box here is, let's have a look. 28 inches. 48 inches I need to find room for. Right, okay, very poor light in here, but it's now quarter to nine. So what I've done, I've used some of the aluminium box tubing. And if you can see here, I've duct taped it on there to the rear of the trike. And it comes along there, comes out way too far. Right, okay, it's now 9pm, so I've been messing about a bit. So where it is now, it's got the seat posts off the tricycle really bad lighting in here terrible don't want to film like this but i'm gonna have to um so i can get my point across tonight so i don't forget so the length of that there now all the way up to there is 55 inches so from there so the end of a dog crate is 55 inches. Right, and it's now 10 o'clock and I've fried my brain with this. Like I said before, I'm tired, it's been a long day. So I've had to do measurements. I did a video, I got it wrong. And yeah, so I'm doing this video. So I'll explain from the end of this metal here 
So the end of a dog crate is 48 inches. And from this height, not the bottom, from there to there is 22 inches. So I could make a thing that drops down at my back like that, a compartment, and it'd give me five foot 10, 70 inches. So instead yeah. of using an aluminium base, I've actually got this wood. I've been sawing, cutting and screwing. I've made it like this. I've attached it on with wire at the minute, as you can see there. And I've put a piece of wood over there just to get my measurements right. Oh my word, she's been pinching things. I can't believe this naughty little girl is a consistent pain in my... Right, it's now half four and I've been really busy. So I've gone on my balcony, I've put my dust mask on and I've cut these three pieces of wood to fit across here. What's mad, these pieces of wood are what I saved off my Bilingo micro camper and I got rid of that in 2020. So I've held on to them all these years. Um, so yeah, three pieces of wood cut, they're actually screwed on tempera. I'm gonna get them on the balcony and I'm gonna paint them and give them a good few coats of paint. I don't know what color, I'm just gonna see what paint I've got. A few layers of undercoat, I think. Yeah, and the trike now, I'm gonna take the crank arms off, the cog, probably leave the bottom bracket in, it doesn't need coming out. This chain tensioner needs removing and I need to remove that bracket and the geared hub. Also, I've been looking on eBay and now I bought 20 inch tires for this, they did fit. I bought 24 inch tires for this, they did fit. So that says one thing, they're actually like 22 inch wheels and yeah, I had an idea anyway. Went on eBay and looked and 22 inch wheels are for wheelchairs and stuff like that. And I've seen some for 11 pound each and 3 99 postage and you can return them and yeah the return costs four pound if they don't fit so i'm going to take the risk i don't want to go to the bike shop i don't like the guy he always has a downer on anything you take in that's different to a mountain bike or a bmx oh. right one coat of white undercoat i'm going to put two on tonight i'll remove the parts here's Flo. she's pinched cardboard and yeah She's dead cheeky, got a little face, post to jump. Itchy scratcher. So it's the 31st of August now, 2023, and it's 5 to 8. So I can't remember what I filmed last night. I've not looked at the edit, but I've done a load today and we haven't filmed. So I'll explain what I've done. So the dog crate on my back, it's taped on in position nothing's permanent i'm just measuring up size and shapes of stuff so like i said it's gonna have to be made in sections i'm taking down two flights of stairs built outside and stored in my shed so this is the shape i've got so the aluminium i didn't want to cut it down so i've used a full piece and i've used this wood now that was off a uh, shelf and a curved shelf and I've kept my wood for years and it's finally come in handy. <laughs> so it's bent like that and I'm thinking that roof could have a flexible solar panel on. So it comes down like that and like I said, there's gonna be a drop down at the back, a compartment and it'll be five foot 10. But I've got a good bit of room there to sit, good bit of headroom if you can see and yeah so the tires come tomorrow and yeah this is what i've done today can i just say none of this is permanent i'm measuring up ideas and ideas progress so yeah um the next video it could look completely different so i'm not keen on how high it is but yeah i'm thinking do i want to set up in it i don't know i've got more to do tomorrow i've got more plans but it's late now well, it's not late, but I want to chill out now. Thought I'd do a quick update, and um, that's where we're up to. Okay, catch up tomorrow. Okay, it's now 8 p.m. on Friday, the 1st of September, 2023. Yeah, we're in September already, 
Where's the year gone? Um, yeah, this is the last year in my 40s and I said at the beginning of the year I wanted to make it epic but it's been more epic than I could have imagined. There's yeah. some stuff happening in my life I'm not going to talk about but it's making me very, very happy and it seems weird to be happy after years of having PTSD. So I'm sidetracking. Anyway, so this is the structure now of the bicycle camper and this is part one of the video series so i'm going to end the video here i wanted to build the structure i don't know what the next video is i'm going to have to make panels that fit the side i think and a roof and yeah and then it's all in sections like i said and then taking down two flights of stairs rebuilt outside and kept in my shed so yeah i'm not sure of what the second video will be but yeah there is going to be one and it'll be next weekend so you've been watching me paul consider subscribing hit the bell for future future updates don't forget to like comment and share and you've been watching me build a bicycle camper or really i should say you've been watching me convert an old tricycle into a bicycle camper that's more like it now where's this puppy so here's puppy Flo she's pinched me out and I've caught a prisoner so I'm doing all this I'm building the basket for the tricycle that's a new second hand tricycle that's a basket to go on one back put Flo in and I'll be towing that I've bought a Royal Amart 1500 watt wheel keep a watch out for that and Flo says goodbye come here Come here, don't you? You say goodbye. Give me thy hat and say goodbye.